Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy KBGE, and here we are on another video. All right, so check it out. <clears throat> so in my district, um, there was just the Emperor's Battle that just went down, uh, and KW Chen Yi is the current emperor right now. Let me see. Um, yeah, he's been the emperor a few times, right there. It's... Yeah, so. KW Chen Yi is, is the current emperor right now. So a lot of people have been wondering what's behind the whole emperor thing. What do you get from being emperor, right? So he's also Baron and also an overlord, but look at his gear though. Anyway, let's get on to it. <clears throat> so emperor gives you 20% army, army attack, 10% army max HP, and 20% travel speed. You can see what Baron gives you. You already know about Overlord. Okay, right, cool. Now, if you go over here, this is the, I would say this is the most important thing about Emperor. Because the gear, all right, it's cool, whatever. You know, you can upgrade the Mythic or whatever. So what happens is when you're in Emperor Battles and you kill T4, um, you get points that, um, okay, so... Earn Royal Points by killing Tier 4 troops in Royal 1 of Battles during the Battle Royale. One point per kill. Troops sent to the Infirmary do not count. Usually Royal Points will not expire and can be used in the next event. So Baron and... um, <clears throat> Let's see. Baron and Emperor. Whenever you kill T4, you get points. I don't really know about... um, What's it called? I don't know about... A paladin, I'm not sure if that does the same thing, but I know for a fact Baron, Baron, and you know Emperor. In those in those battles, you get points for killing C4. So, as you can see here, if you get 120,000 points, you can get a Mythic Ember, which upgrades Emperor equipment. I'm gonna try and see if I can track some of that down for you. <clears throat> then there's a Royal Cavalry Jewel. Boom, it gives um cavalry attack, cavalry HP, uh Royal Infantry Jewel, Infantry Attack, Infantry HP, Royal Range Jewel, and we already talked about the Mythic Emperor, which upgrades um which upgrades Emperor equipment. So as you can see, that means you would have to kill 120,000 T4 to be able to get one comment, right? But think about this now. Like you ever wondered why these guys hit so hard but besides them having um besides them having um what you blah, 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 blah. besides them having mythic champ gear you know familiars and the castle skins i always wondered like like you know how their sets are so strong and it just started making sense to me now taking the time to actually look and you know do some research let me just take a little quick picture of this real quick <clears throat> Um, take a picture of this too. Don't mind me, guys. My bad. All right, so I want to actually get to the Wonderland. Let me see. Oh, oh, wow. That's beautiful. So for um, Chalice, let's see. Earn Chalice points by killing tier fruit troops in Royal Chalice battles during the war for Chalice. One point per kill. Troops sent to the infirmary do not count. Unused Chalice points will not expire and can be used for the next event. So instead of um, Royal Jewels, you get Gargantua pack, Frostwing pack, Queen Bee pack, and... Oh, wait. Hold on. Devil's Cap, License to Kill, XP stuff, Resources. That's interesting. I didn't even know that. Um, so you can see like there's, there's more to it than just wasting countless T4 for no reason. Um, the current Paladin right now is Burismo. So yeah, um, Paladin really doesn't give you any stats that I'm aware of. 100% prestige, whatever that means. If you guys know what prestige is, please comment below. Um, let's take a look over here. So, yeah. Uh, 
about Paladin's Horde. If you win Paladin, you get 100k gems, 120 million gold, um, 100% prestige. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, let's see. I need to go to K71 to show you the, um, the Royal Wonder thing. Chen Yi. Chen Yi. All right, so boom. So when you become emperor, it's kind of like, okay, so first is overlord, then is baron, then emperor. So emperor is like the ultimate, like, best title you could get in the game. All right, cool. So just like overlord and baron, there's titles you can hand out being uh, the emperor. So let's go to the imperial titles. Um, you got the emperor regent. You got archduke. Oops, Archduke, which is like kind of like general super super speed mode, infantry commander, range commander, cavalry commander, siege commander, speaks for himself, high priest, chief instructor, magistrate, duke, and governor. Then you have your um native titles, of course. Now, if you manage to somehow win Emperor, the Emperor's Horde is crazy. So first off, you get 1 million gems, 600 million gold, and a Emperor item, which should be legendary. You need the Mythic Embers in order to upgrade it. And it's permanent. A Mark of Greatness requires level 60. I wonder what the actual stats are. I don't know. We would have to get in contact with somebody that's one Emperor, like um, Faizan here. So he can see his helmet's already mythic. His helmet is an emperor piece. I'm not sure if his pants are. I know his helmet and offhand are emperor pieces. And they're both mythic. So you know that boy hit hard. Um, yeah, so Chen Yi has had it two times that we know of so far. Uh, Imperial Chronicle. Oh, yeah, that's what we just looked at. We looked at the emperor. Oh, emperor's bounty. So this is what the... um. The Emperor can give out. So the first chest is 430 day speed ups, 200k gems, and then 120 million, and then 200k. Yeah, so it's. Ooh. But you have to consider that they're killing millions and millions of T4. So for people like me and you, this is like completely, completely like off the charts. Like we could never like afford to survive any of this. But I just wanted you guys to know, like, because a lot of people have been asking me, like, why can't they use the Coliseum when the stuff is going on, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. But, you know, hopefully this will shine some light into those avenues and areas. And um, hopefully this video was helpful, helpful somewhat informative, um, you know, just to, um, you know, just give you some insight to the game. For those of you who wanted to grow to do bigger and better things or, you know, just to tune in and just enjoy things like this. Um, so it's your boy KBGE and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more content. Please like, subscribe and share.